Open your application in App Store Connect and select Subscriptions from the Features section. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a subscription group. You'll also need to create at least one App Store localization, so click on the Create button and do that here. To add subscriptions to this group, click on Create and add a reference name. For the product ID, it's recommended that you use a combination of the app name, the feature, the duration of the subscription, and the localized price like this. Next, choose the duration and add a subscription price. That'll be the localized price for your App Store Connect. And then, if desired, alter the prices for other countries. You'll also need to have at least one localization for each subscription. And this is the information that gets displayed in the App Store. You can add as many subscriptions as you like, and each one can have a different reference name, product ID, duration, and price. Next, return to your Glassify settings and copy the app S2 notification URL. Glassify can generate subscription events even if the user is not opening the app, and it doesn't require server to server notifications from Apple. Return to the App Store Connect, and then under General, App Information, scroll down to the App Store Server Notification section, and paste that URL into both the Production and the Sandbox Server URL fields. Each time, make sure that you specify Version 1 Notifications. 